is in the air and we are starting to see people gather a little bit more now that they're vaccinated with friends and family. And the last place that you wanna be when you're gathering is stuck behind a hot stove. Well, blogger Jeffrey Eisner is here with some recipes that are easy, they are healthy, and he says they taste very good. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi, Elsa, and hi, Baltimore. I'm so happy to have you here. So tell me, can you just show us some ideas for recipes that are made in the Instant Pot that we can put together very quickly for spring? Absolutely, and it's like you said, once you have an Instant Pot, forget the stove, forget the oven, because it does both things in one pot. So what I love about the Instant Pot, not only that, is also how conveniently quick it is to cook in. But, you know, it's only going to be as good as the recipes you have for it. So with my book, the lighter step-by-step -step Instant Pot Cookbook, as well as my original book, the orange one, the step-by-step -step Instant Pot Cookbook, I have some fantastic recipes for you this spring. And uh, we can also do a whole array of things. Let's start off with a breakfast. We have some steel-cut oats here, which are absolutely fantastic. You can customize them however you want. Here we have some bananas, some golden raisins, some almonds. You can also put berries, whatever you want. The sky's the limit. And how about a fantastic pasta side here? We have some of delicious balsamic mushroom orichetti. Instead of having like a heavy cream sauce, I use a little touch of some Greek yogurt in there mixed in with the fantastic balsamic base. And uh, it goes really lovely with everything. And then we have a wonderful lemon orzo chicken, which I just love because it's not only that, it screams spring with lemon in there, the beautiful bright colors of that mixed in with some you know, spinach. Um, but the thing about this one is instead of orzo, if you don't wanna use orzo, you can use cauliflower rice. So if you're into keto, that's gonna be a fantastic substitute. My book also explains how to substitute items just like that to make, some, make something lifestyle compliant. And it's not gonna be a perfect cookbook without a dessert, right? So here's some banana bread for you, except there's a catch. There's no flour in this banana bread. It's almond flour. So it makes it gluten-free, and it's still gonna be super moist and delicious. My four-year-old niece, she couldn't get enough of it. You can totally, totally swap ingredients out to something that's gonna be a little bit lighter. So let's say, for instance, if a recipe calls for maybe dredging your chicken in a little bit of flour, instead of using regular flour, you can use whole wheat flour or even like a quinoa or coconut flour. Because again, if you're into the keto lifestyle or paleo, which are absolutely all the rage these days, that's a great way to compromise in that situation. Um, and also, by the way, if you have any leftovers, because my recipes do make a lot, some of these Pyrex things right over here, but you can have a little divider, perfect. Perfect, because you can have the sauce separated, like from the lemon orzo chicken, from the chicken itself. It keeps it nice and perfect that way. And tell us how you guys started cooking in the Instant Pot to begin with. My whole entire life I used to love cooking, and uh, it was my therapy. I was in a job I didn't really love, and cooking was a way for me to unwind at the end of the day. And I love gadgets and appliances. So about four years ago, when the Instant Pot came to be, uh, I was hooked instantly, and I saw there was a revolutionary new way of cooking all in one pot because I hate mess and I hate cleanup, and this solved the answer for me. Okay, where should we follow you, first and foremost, and of course, where should we get the book? You can get the book anywhere books are sold, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Target, Walmart, or support your local indie stores. And you can follow my recipes as well at PressureLuckCooking.com. Just Google Pressure Luck, you'll find me. All right, Jeffrey Eisner, thank you so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned. <music>